is my kitchen and I have a delicious meal coming to you today. I'm going to try to see if I can say it the right way. It is pie huang gua with pan seared chicken. And this is a uh, Sichuan dish. And what it really is, is a, is a spicy cucumber salad that is also served with spiced other meats and vegetables. So, but I'm not going to be utilizing super hot, but I will be utilizing some beautiful chicken that I have thinly sliced and it's in a very nice cold plate. So it gets ready because remember what I always tell you, take your uh, chicken or beef or anything out of your refrigerator 15 minutes before you're going to cook it. And that way it's not going to curl. So la prima cosa that we are going to do is to put on the fadale. And what I have here is I have a beautiful fadale of birds and butterflies because after all, life goes on and the birds will sing and the butterflies will fly with their beautiful wings. This is a beautiful beloved dish. Uh, and my cousin that has lost his battle with cancer loved, 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 loved um, any, any, any kind of foods like, like his cousin, like me. And then this is in his honor and all of those wonderful loved ones that we have lost to some type of a disease or another. That is the reason why I do what I do. That is the reason why I bring you healthy eating so you may be able to have a better life and to change. And you know, we can change. Uh, I, I truly believe that we can really alter our DNA. Okay, so with that being said and done, I have two English cucumbers that I have sliced on each side. I have sliced them in three quarters, in three pieces. I put them in this bag. And then what I did is I'm taking a rolling pin. Yes, a rolling pin. And then what I want to do is I want to smush them. And that's what I want to do. I want them to crack. So now that they have been cracked, and trust me, I have cracked them, and it's a very good way to, you know, if you want to get some, some, some of that, you know, pinned up energy that you have, by all means, this is a good thing. So then what I want to do is I want to bring, I have a, what I have here is I have a colander with a bowl, because this is what we're going to do first. And uh, so I'm going to walk you step by step, and then what I want to do is I want to get these guys that's already cracked, and I'm just going to open them like, up like this. And then what I want to do is I just want to, you know, just kind of crack them with your hands, just like that, guys, into bite sizes. It's a lot of fun. You can get the kids, you know, involved in this dish. And, uh, and it, is, it, is, it is fun. It is very, very fun. And then what we are going to do is to this is we are going to add to this, guys, one and a half teaspoon of fine salt. Because while we're doing everything else, this wonderfulness is going to be hanging out with the salt draining. And then wait till I show you what we're going to do with that. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and give you the ingredients. Get yourself two bowls, because in one bowl, we are going to be um, uh, utilizing some uh, fabulous, uh, wonderful uh, black vinegar. Uh, and if you don't have black vinegar, the way to make black vinegar is to substitute it with two teaspoons of rice vinegar and one teaspoon of basmanic vinegar. So as you can see, I'm still trying to cut these up here with my hands. So what I'm going to do is, it's going to take me a long time to do it with the hands. So I'm just going to put it over here. And as you can see, it's taking quite a bit of water already. I'm done with this bag. I'm going to put it on the, in, uh, in the, uh, on the side there and then what I want to do is you're supposed to like carrying it up with your hands but you know what I just don't have the time so I'm just gonna kind of come so they're, they're supposed to be you know uh, torn out because you know it, it has the sides like the ends are like the crispy kind you know so we're just gonna put it all in here like that all in here like that very simple transaction very easy and you know and for you very busy moms that work this is a wonderful recipe very easy and very healthy because it, it really the vegetables is just the cucumber so then now what i want to do is i want to go ahead and 
and get my salt, me to dry my hands really good, get yourself a paper plate, a paper towel, and then I'm just going to do that, and I just want to put my hands in the calendar like I'm doing like that, and making sure that I want to get the salt. This is the only part that's going to be really salted over here. Let me put the rest. It's one and a half because what it's going to do is going to draw all the water of the cucumber down. And that's what we want to do. We want to do that. And you see it's already, the water, it's already doing its thing. So we're going to leave this to do its thing to just make sure that every single one of those guys are coated, get all the way in the bottom there. And then I'm just going to put this to the side. I am done with this part right here. And I'm going to give myself a quick rinse. And then now I'm coming back over here to your my board. All right, so what I want to do is I got my little chickens right here that I'm going to make a quick marinade. And let me tell you what I'm going to do with that, okay? What I have here is I have a teaspoon of, of sesame oil. This is toasted sesame oil that is going to go into this nice little bowl right here. I also have a teaspoon of chopped garlic, very, very thinly chopped garlic that's going to go right in here like so. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I also have over here is this wonderful uh, Sanchuan uh, Chinese um, oil. And it's oil with all these wonderful little specks of spedzies, you know, the, uh, the pepper flakes. I also have a fourth of a teaspoon because this is a little spicy, a fourth of a teaspoon. I don't have my glasses, but I want to thank everybody that is joining me today. Hello, beautiful people. And I'm just going to mix this, just mix it like so. And then what I want to do here is I'm going to take a little teaspoon. And what I have here is I have already mixed. Remember what I always tell you, if you already have something mixed, put it in a little jar so then that way you know. And this is just mixed salt and pepper. And I'm just going to have a teaspoon of just of that salt and pepper that's just going to be right in here like so. Just like this. I know you're thinking, well, that doesn't look like a lot. But trust me, it's going to give these beautiful chicken guys our lovely flavor. And I'm just going to put them right in, in there like that. Because I want these guys to start coating just like that. I'm done with this plate. Get this out of the way. And then what we want to do is we want to get these all... Um, it doesn't take a lot. You know, so it doesn't take a lot, guys. Uh, just bear with me. This is what's going to give the chicken the nice little flavor. And I have my chicken really nice and thin. You see? Nice and thin. Okay, so I took... And actually, this is one breast. And it is... So everything I use is organic. And I just put it in between my hands and I just slice them. So now these guys are getting their flavors just like that. Then what I have here is I have a tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil that I am going to be sauteing these guys. But before I do that, I'm going to put this to that. Well, actually, I am going to start my pan now. And I'm going to add my tablespoon of a vegetable oil that's going to go in here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys that have been at room temperature. Remember, always put in my room temperature. And I am going to start browning these guys. All right, so I'm going to put this on the side. So then now what I'm going to do is, as you can see, there's quite a bit of water that is draining from this. I am going to make a sauce that's going to go over all these beautiful deliciousness of our cucumbers. And what I have here is I have another teaspoon of uh, uh, chopped thinly, as thinly as you can, of garlic, because garlic is very, very good for us. I also, what I have here is a teaspoon of sugar, uh, a sugar, a tablespoon of soy sauce, and four tablespoon, or four teaspoons of the black vinegar. So the black vinegar is going to go, mm. you know, and the black vinegar has got a really lovely smoked flavor. And like I said, you know, my cousin um, that is no longer with us lost this battle with cancer loved, loved, loved this dish. And, uh, and that's why I wanted to bring it to you. Um, it's very flavorful. And, you know, and sometimes we have to try other different things, you know. It's not everything, you know. I mean, it's, it's a whole world of culinary wonders out there. And I'm still in this competition, you know. And this competition that is taking a lot 
Uh, so then what I have here, now this is going to be the wonderful sauce that we are going to put over these wonderful guys. All right, so then remember, I still have some salt and pepper that I have here. Remember that I, when you have a lot, you put it in a little jar, so I just want to take a little teaspoon of that. All done with that. Now my oil is nice and hot. Oh, you know what, I forgot to turn the, <laughs> I, I forgot to turn the power on. So I want this on medium high, and I want to make sure that my pan is nice and coated, and she's screaming because she does not like me to pick it up. But she's gonna have to get over it because I'm not re I'm not I'm not gonna put up with you today. All right. So then, what I want to do here is I just want to come and taste this. Come and taste this. Mmm. Wow. Wow. It doesn't have a lot of spice because you know I have not added this marvelous thing in here. Remember, I only use a tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of sugar, and four teaspoons of black vinegar. And I have not really added too much of this because wait till I show you what I'm going to do. All right, but the first thing I'm going to do while that is happening over here is that I am going to go ahead and put my, and make sure that they make the sizzle. Make the sizzle. I'm waiting for the sizzle. Oh, there it goes. Because what I want this is I'm going to, my new word now is flash. I want to flash pan fried or whatever you want to call it I'm going to flush and make sure that every piece that you uh, slice is the same size so they all they all okay cook at the same time okay so while that is hanging out there because it's not going to take a lot I am done with this bowl get that out of the way all right so then now I am going to bring I'm going to drain let me put that here. I'm going to drain the water from this bowl, drain the water, because I'm not going to get another bowl. You know, I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like it. And I'm going to add those right in there to that. Then I am going to add this marvelousness into this. It goes really quick, this dish, and it's delicious, guys. you got to try it. Super easy, you know, when you just don't really want a lot, but you want something very flavorful. All right, look at that, look at that, look at that beautifulness. Oh man, I can't wait for me to try this. Because every time I make this dish, it's different. And, and I, I really don't know, I don't really do much of anything different. So I just want to mix with the same guy, same guy over here. Same guy over here, just like that. All right, so then what I do here is I have two tablespoons of um, toasted sesame. I just want to put one, I want to put two. Because the rest, wait till I show you how we're going to plate it. What I have over here is I have some of this deliciousness, the Sanchuan drizzle, you know, the really hot, spicy Chinese hot pepper. And what I want to do is I want to mix this together. Mix this together. My chickens are doing very, very well over here. They're coming along. And yes, now it's time for me to turn them over. Because I'm telling you, this entire dish, it's done in a jiffy, guys, in a jiffy. Very simple, very easy transaction. Okay, so then now those are doing their thing there. I have it on medium high because I want them to flash, flash, uh, cook these guys. Um, and so then that is done. In the meantime, get yourself a beautiful platter like so. I want to make sure that I don't get anything on there. And then what I'm going to do over here with a slotted with a slotted spoon is that I want to get my cucumbers right on this beautiful platter. It makes a very lovely presentation, especially if you have guests. The guest is just going to be my husband and I, because this will carry us through lunch and also through dinner. And this is such a lovely, such a lovely, lovely dish. And it's so simple, you know, it's so simple. Uh, and I love trying out new dishes from different countries. I really, really do. And when I go to a country, I go looking for people, even though I might not speak their language, I go looking for them. And I just say, yummy, 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 yummy. And they understand what yummy, yummy is. They really do. And you know, as you can see, look at this. Oh, mamma mia, que belleza. Oh, this is such a pretty, pretty dish. It's all green and white, you know. It's almost like still into the uh, St. Patrick time. 
here. And trust me, I want to get every every one of these guys. I'm going to get this out of the way. And then what I want to do here is I'm going to take the rest of my toasted sesame because you know toasted sesame they have their own wonderful wonderful wonderfulness delicious super delicious i just want to make sure that i put them all in here like so oh yes baby baby all right now i'm just going to move the other little guys on the side over there because my chickens are almost done my actually my chickens are done and they're looking beautiful oh mamma mia che bellezza Oh yes, oh, what I said is, oh my mamia, how beautiful. So then what I want to do over here is that I want to, you know, I want to just drizzle uh, some of this oil. Yeah, baby, look at that oil. Just drizzle some of that over that. And it is spicy, but it's good spicy. And then I want to bring my wonderful little chicky poos right over here. And I just want to bring them down like so. I want to bring them down like that. I'm going to put them in my platter. They look so beautiful. Shut this off. Very simple, easy transaction. Now, we still have some left of our sesame. And why not just put some a little bit on the chicken? Because it's got that beautiful little flavor and that little beautiful taste. There you go. And then what I would do is I would serve it with a little bit of the chili that I have right here on the side without dripping it all over the place. And then what you have, are you ready? You ready to see this? What you have, guys, is this marvelous, look at the pai ham gua with pan seared chicken. And look at the beautiful, if I, if I go any farther, it's going to not look very good. Okay, everybody, that is all I have for you today. This marvelous dish, give yourself permission to try this. It is outstanding and delicious, and I want to thank all of my wonderful sponsors, Cola Harris with Pharmacy, Stephen Belly with Belly Fishing and Charters, um, <laughs> Nadia Rodriguez with Life and Food Superstores, and also my beautiful friend, uh, Sol Angel with uh, Color Street, and I want to thank you for joining me so much in this beautiful manjata. Have a blessed day, and to your health.